name's Jed, and I retired here to the beautiful kingdom of Thailand five years ago. Come and join me as I take you on a journey to discover the best that the land of smiles has to offer. Whether you're an expat, thinking of opening a business or working here in Thailand, or if you're a digital nomad looking to work in a more economical country than your own country, or if you're a holiday maker and you're wanting to know the best places to visit in this beautiful, diverse country, or maybe you're like me, a retiree looking for a better and cheaper place to spend your retirement during your golden years, well, if that's the case, you've come to the right channel. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It will help me a lot and I promise it will cost you nothing. And push the thumbs up button and pass on the link to any friends or family who you think might be interested in looking at my channel. My last two videos were on the pros of living in Phuket or the, the best reasons why it's a good idea to live in Phuket. Also I did the video on the properties for rent in the Phuket area. Today's video is the cons and as I've said before it won't be a long video because there's nothing really bad about living uh, here in uh, Phuket. Um, it all depends on your outlook on life and what you like to get out of life but for me personally there's only three things that uh, disappoint me about living in Phuket and the good things far outweigh the bad. I think when you live in Thailand you get a little bit spoilt. You expect everything to be perfect and spot on because it's such a, a beautiful country and so inexpensive to live here. So when things aren't so good, they tend to stand out. So because this is going to be such a short video, watch till the end because I'm going to put some images of some funny things that you might see when driving around Thailand. So here's my first reason for the things that I don't like about living in Phuket. Phuket is a lovely tropical island, but unlike Koh Samui, um, it's, you just drive across, it's got a causeway. So it doesn't really have that island feel about it. Another reason it doesn't have an island feel about it is it's more of a, a built-up island. It's very busy. Unlike Koh Phangan, Koh Samui, Phi Phi, Koh Chang, Koh Lippi, which are your smaller tropical islands. Phuket is more urban, with more buildings and busier roads. So I suppose that's the, the first thing that I don't like about Phuket. It's very, very busy. I first came to live here uh, in 2017 and I thought I'd stay in Phuket all the time. I thought that's where I'd make my base and my home. But after about six months, I found that it was too busy for me. I'd prefer the quieter islands and the quieter life than Phuket had to offer. Reason number two for perhaps not wanting to live in Phuket might be that it's quite expensive to live here. Phuket's probably the second most expensive place to live in Thailand after Bangkok, the capital. The reason for that is it's a large tourist area and wherever you find tourists, prices will always go up. Also, it's probably the logistics of getting things to and from the island which uh, pushes the price up. And this is wherever you go, you go in shopping centres, supermarkets, you'll find that uh, things are a lot more expensive there. Uh, drinks, if you go out to bars, I find that it's more expensive than places like Koh Samui and Wahin. Uh, but not excessively so. I'm not saying it's expensive like it is in Europe. You're still going to live here a lot cheaper than anywhere else in uh, most Western countries. 
but do be aware that it could be a little bit more than living in other places in Thailand such as Chiang Rai or Chiang Mai or Con Ken, rural towns and it's definitely a little bit more expensive than in places like Koh Samui and Koh Phangan and Wahin. So that brings me to my third and last reason for the cons of living in Phuket and that'll be it's such a long way from the rest of Thailand. Now these are reasons that I dislike about living in Phuket but it might not be the same for you. I love to travel and I love to go around Thailand and everyone's different. If you like living in one place then Phuket could still be a great place for you. Wahin is about a 550 kilometer drive which will take you about nine hours from uh, Phuket. Bangkok is about a 12 hour drive and about 850 kilometers away. If you want to sample the nightlife of Pattaya, you'll find that's about a 13 hour, a little over 13 hours drive, close to about a thousand kilometers away. You'll find Con Ken about a 17 hour drive away, around about 1300 kilometers. Udon Thani is around about a 21 hour drive or about 1400 kilometers. Chiang Rai is about a 21 hour drive, around about 1500 kilometers away, whereas Chiang Mai will be about or oh, maybe hour and a half, two hours more. There are some great towns close to Phuket. Koh Samui is only about a six hour drive from Phuket, including the two hour ferry across. Kolak is a place that a lot of the people who live in Phuket like to escape to because it's only about an hour and 50 minute drive from the centre of Phuket. Krabi's only 160 kilometres away, about a two and a half hour drive, but you can also take the ferry across directly from Phuket to Krabi. And if you fancy getting out of Thailand for a little while, the Malaysian border is only about a seven and a half hour drive south, around about 450 kilometers to the border. So those are the cons of living in Phuket. And there's only three of them. And don't forget, these are only my ideas of things I don't like. Everyone is different. You know, you might think, no, oh, I'd love that. Phuket's a busy island. Or you might have lots of money and don't care how much it costs to live here. As they say, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So come and take a look for yourself before you decide where's the best place for you to live in Thailand. So as this is such a short video, here's some photos of some funny things and some funny signs you can see while travelling around Thailand.
you haven't already done so, please push the subscribe button. If you're thinking of retiring or living in Thailand, please take a look at my book, The Retiring Thailand Handbook, the first six months. You find it on Amazon. It's crammed full of information to help you tiptoe the logistics of making Thailand your home in retirement. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. So until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.